Um, real quick, guys, before we go on to questions, let me just remind you um, to type the question in the question box and hit send. And then for your pesticide credits, make sure you go to the um, make sure you go to the uh, chat box and type your first name, last name, and the state for which you're looking for credit. So, John, just in case you can't see the questions, one the first question says. Um, when did you apply the captain relative to harvest? So for the Scholar Prince uh, spray trial, I did captain applications 10 days and one day prior to harvest. Okay, so that answers that question. The second question is, uh, sorry, same question was the same one, I guess because they couldn't hear or see us. <laughs> Trying to check, make sure we were alive. We're going to hang on a little longer and just see if, it, if any more questions pop up. Sweet. I see. Uh, the follow-up question, was there a difference between 10 day and one day prior to harvest? Um, the application was the same rate, uh, 10 days and one day we just, um, yeah, we applied. What well, well, we sprayed 10 days prior to harvest, we sprayed the same thing one day prior to harvest, if that's what the question is asked. All right, Mark. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you see that question? Yeah. So is there any difference in inking or bronzing between the 10 days and one day? Um, so we didn't score bronzing after the first application of Captain. We, we scored it after we harvested and went through cold harvest. So um, I'm not sure if I maybe explained it correctly, but, um, so yeah, we didn't, we didn't look at the differences between the first application and the second application. We looked at it after the entirety of the experiment. Hopefully that answers the question. All right. We've got plenty of time, so we don't have to be in a hurry. Perfect. All right. I think you satisfied Phil, so you might not have to ask a question. <laughs> I was gonna say, we'll just get I would just give Phil your phone number and y'all can discuss it further. Um hey, with that being said, I I'm, I'll let you stay on, John, if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and log off. Um but um thank you for your presentation. Also thank thank you guys for for logging in. Um, take some time to thank our sponsors, go to the uh, trade show, check out our sponsors. And also this afternoon at five, there is going to be, after the last session, there's going to be, uh, the networking is going to be available again. Um, they'll have the, business, the Fruit and Vegetable Growers Association business meeting. Um, and they will also, um, they will also uh, change presidents this year. There is another question there for you. I see that. All right. So <laughs> what is the most significant cause of bronzing? Um, that is a great question. Um, it's been shown to be affected by a lot of different factors. Uh, obviously, um, captain or um, 
fungicides applied close to harvest uh, was shown to affect bronzing uh, incidents. But same, we saw some effect from irrigation and potassium as well. And uh, with the rainfall events and the um, transpiration playing a role. So it's hard to point out just one uh, thing to say is the most significant cause. I think it is uh, affected by a large web of um, factors. All right. Give you a few more minutes, Phil. All right, folks. I'd like to say again, thanks for jo thanks for joining us. Uh, if you're still out there and you haven't done it, sign out by typing your first and last name in the audience chat box and put the state in which you need credits. And uh, with that being said, this is the end of the, the morning session for Peaches at the 2021 Southeast Regional Fruit and Vegetable Growers Conference. Thank you all. Thanks again, John. Thanks.